to uh, outlaw cryptocurrency uh, uh, owner, uh, purchases by Americans so that we nip this in the bud, in part because not... Uh... Can, can you just tell me what is bud? Huh? What, what is nipping in the bud? I, I've never really wanted to ask, but I don't get it. But uh, uh, yeah, he wants to stop it. But you know, nip it... Uh, uh, can, you, can you give me an, in the bud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of expression is that? Nip it in the butt. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> uh, off. Uh, anyway, so uh, I see it's it's not butt, all right? It's it's uh, it's flower. You know, flower is uh, growing. I see in the chat now some some serious people have <laughs> more serious people have explained it to me. So basically, you have this flower trying to grow, and then you nip it in the butt so it doesn't grow. So that's kind of like Bitcoin, right? Now, was I heard this uh, podcast, which is very important. There is this uh, Hoover Dam, all right? The Hoover Dam built, and it's a dam, all right? And then you see a beaver. Beaver comes along, he sees the Hoover Dam. He's like, man, it was my idea. <laughs> Hoover Dam stole my idea, this beaver, all right? <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, it's very fun. <laughs> so that is why I, I really don't agree when Coinbase gets all of this heat for having high fees. Look, they're educating. Do you know how expensive that is? To tell grandma how the hell private key works and and that if you lose your private key please don't sue me because you lost it <laughs> possible <laughs> maybe that is why i don't drop it but you know from the beginning i was a bit scared like should i use phone in the bathtub but you know with time you become more and more uh, cocky when it comes to that it's like also when you have when you have a new phone, you know, the first week you respect the phone, you're like, man, this this phone, like, no bathtub for... The so when I got this phone, I was like, man, I will not go to bathtub with you. I will take my old phone to bathtub. This new phone, I respect you too much. But after, like, two weeks, you lose respect to this phone. You also do it in bathtub. You do, like, your normal stuff, even with the normal phone. So uh, that's always how it is with... At least with me and, like, new computers and new phones. The first week, you're like, whoa, mom, I gotta, I gotta polish it. I gotta take this polish... Um, uh, you know the the towel and like polish all the different things on my new computer or, or phone but in a week like you get the first scratch you're like man all respect lost after the first scratch like okay you're you're just a normal phone <laughs> uh, how much would can a wood chuck chuck yes a lot I'm going to do some hydration So which stablecoin would you sell if you want to sell? Sorry guys, I was too bullish, too bullish on the water. You know, you're too bullish on the water, sometimes it flows in the wrong direction. So what the question, you're in the bubble, you're in the bubble, good for you. But it's just bad for you. I feel bad sometimes for these people. Because then I meet them, and I have some good friends that are in the in this bubble still. But then I meet them, and they are amazed about DeFi. They're like, man, what? I've never, I never even understood that you can do lending, that you can do derivatives, you can do synthetics, what you can do it on chain. My Bitcoin Maxi friends told me ETH is a scam. I've been thinking that ETH is a scam since 2015. I've missed out on millions of percent in gains in ETH and other DeFi tokens. And really, you understand, I've been, I've been away from the market. I've been living under a rock. So this is unfortunately what the ignorance does to you. You are under a rock. Now, the good thing is, when you are a newcomer, it is good for you to be in this bubble, to be under a rock, somewhere deep under a rock, nobody even can find you, because then you're also protecting yourselves against the scammers. Because when you are in the bubble, in the maximalist bubble, the good thing is it protects you against scammers. So it's like a shield, it's like a force field, and the scammers cannot get to you. But but sooner or later, man, you have to, you have to wander out. You cannot be in this in this baby how do you say crab crib how do you say where do you put a baby you in this uh, you know wagon that the, that your mom puts like what uh, anyway you understand this baby thing crib exactly crib baby crib you have to step out <laughs> you have to the same thing will happen with vr there will be a lot of good amazing use cases that will take the humanity to a whole other level but just like with the phone so many people waste absolutely waste their lives playing Candy Crush. I mean, I see people, adult people, adult people, for example, when you go to uh, to the city and you see somebody is just waiting for something and they're playing Candy Crush. Man, why? Because Candy Crush is triggering, trigger, triggering the right dopamine, so they are addicted. 
Adult people, it's insane. Now, also in the hilarious, absolutely hilarious turns of events, we do have a uh, Craig Wright sending out letters, basically, uh, basically saying that he is the Mount Gox hacker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's so funny. It's so funny. His lawyers, I don't know if it's by accident or if they intended, but they now sent out letters claiming that they own the address that hacked Mount Gox. <laughs> you know, more. I think people would be more attracted to that. I mean, to be honest with you, now people are more, oh man, I miss Bitcoin. Let me go and check. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 XRP, 19 cents. It looks like a killing because people don't even care about the market cap. So, you know, in Sweden, we have moose, this uh, this animal, the moose, all right? It's special to Sweden. You see, I'm gonna I'm gonna find it, this, the moose. And, um, and so there is this joke I heard people say uh, from, I think it was American who told me it, but he basically said, you know, Swedes, here is like typical Swedish, Swedes sit around the table and there is a, like a dead moose on the table, like a, a dead moose head on the table. And everyone is eating, and everyone sees that it's disgusting. Like this moose head, like it's so disgusting. It's in the middle of the table, it's disgusting. But nobody mentions anything. You just eat, like talk. And then somebody brings it up and says, maybe we should do something. Guys, 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 there is a, there is a dead moose. Maybe we should do something, guys, come on, wake up. And you know, we Swedes, we become a bit annoyed, man. Did you have to mention it? Oh, did you have to mention it? Like, uh, why did you mention it? Why did you bring down the atmosphere here? So this is kind of the same thing right now with um, this export. Like, why did you have to mention it, guys? Don't mention it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so you need to be smart. You, you cannot be this uh, maximalistic fanatic saying, hey, only Bitcoin, only Bitcoin. Hey, you touch Ethereum, that's a shitcoin. You're a shitcoiner. Shame, shame on you, shame on you. You're being banished from our holy maximalistic, maximalistic temple. I mean, you cannot do that. Nobody will care about you if you do that. So as a result, DeFi remains mostly almost completely off the radar for the traditional fintech industry, which we're seeing right now. I told you, you know, we did a big mistake during the last Blockspot. And for all of you guys who don't know, Blockspot was our conference and it was widely successful. I mean, we had thousands of people here in Stockholm participating in our conference, blockchain conference. And we did it. We did it in 2018. And at that time, our slogan was... Uh, was forget the hype, build things. You know, we had this very serious slogan, forget the hype, guys. You need to be serious, you need to build. And, you know, we were a bit too successful with that slogan because after our conference, it was in like May 2018, the hype completely died. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we see financial crisis, maybe the whole crypto space goes down, maybe Bitcoin goes to 5k, maybe, 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 it's possible, but that's why you need to have cojones if you are in this uh, place, in this space, and you better have them of steel. Why? Because you understand that this blockbuster is better than Team America, I know, man, I know. As people told me, I'm like Tarantino. But yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I, I, I appreciate that you like it. Look, it's, it's insane. And something that gets me frustrated is that people still don't understand it. They still think that crypto is some kind of scam. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm so, so frustrated by it. Because I don't know how to explain it better. Look, I've been explaining now this for years online. And still, some people are not getting it. Still, some people are being z zombies that, that are watching media and seeing that Bitcoin is some kind of scam and crypto is some... I mean, it blows my mind.